Hello YouTube, welcome back to Joe Ketchapalia talking about shipping container home construction uh, with your host, me, Joe Ketchapalia. Uh, I wanted to say if, if the tone of my last video was a little too negative about getting the ground screws in, I, I apologize. I think some people thought that um, it was the end of the day. I was pretty frustrated with this process. Uh, honestly, I still am. It's, it's still going very slowly. Um, but I got into this knowing that this was going to be a learning process, knowing that these weren't going to work perfectly this first time. Um, but I want to figure out how to do them because there's a lot of advantages to the ground screws. One, you know, you're using a lot less concrete. It's it's significantly better for the environment to, to use these. Um, it also has, you know, less impact on the ground. So if for some reason you wanted to pick up and move this home someday you could take these ground screws out um and you haven't you know permanently damaged um you know the soil the ground you don't you don't have uh sometimes you see where, where a traditional house on a slab is burned down and you have this slab there and nobody knows what to do with it and it, it actually causes a lot of times those will sell for less um, than just the raw land and you know for something like this i don't want it to burn down and shipping containers it's not going to um but you know it, it's just sort of the idea that uh, i think there's a lot of reasons to want to use the screws um it also i believe will be cheaper once we really figure out how to do it and also faster um you know one of the big things with concrete is the curing time um depending on how you have it set up it might just be a couple of days but it, it could be you know as long as a month that you should really let it cure uh, i know there's pretty wide disagreement on that um so this is the third day now that we have equipment out there although i haven't been to the site so this is all video i shot yesterday um and i just wanted to give you a little update uh, oh first i'm supposed to ask you in the beginning please like and subscribe um and comment below uh, also, if you stay to the end, I'm going to give you an update on my um, on my tiny home and what I've decided to do with that. If you remember the last time we talked, I decided to fire the architect that I was using on that project um, and sort of I'm really just starting over with I have the land and that's it. But I'll, I'll give you that update um, if you stay to the end and you can tell me what you think about that plan. But here's a little bit of footage I took. Um, actually, at least getting some screws going here. Um, you know, so this is kind of how it should work. It turns out that the problem, the real problem we're having is this head here is just not, it's not the right piece of equipment um, for what we need to do. And there's not one that's available that we can rent anytime in the near future. I found out we could buy one. Um, but I'm not going to be doing enough of these uh, for it to justify the $6,000 expense uh, of buying one and just having it um, on hand for these. Uh, and then there's actually some, I think it would really altogether be like seven or 8,000 because there's some add-ons and attachments. Uh, I, you know, what, what I'm pretty sure I'm going to do in the future is just have this, the company that's providing the screws actually put them in as well. Um, you know, this is, this is what we've got. I apologize for the camera work. I'm trying to keep my um, workers here on the site off of the camera. They they didn't they didn't want to be in here, so um, that's why I've got it way over to the side here, and I'll be doing some zooming in and zooming out. But I, I think you got a good a good sense of you know the size of these screws and um, how this piece of equipment is supposed to work. Um, and you know, yeah, we we're getting them into the ground. We're just not getting them in as far as they need to go. Uh, and I'll show you that in a minute. I actually think we'll just go to, yeah, I think I'm gonna show you the top of this here. Um, but yeah, you can see it's growing in, it's not going in very fast and it's it's just not, we're not getting the right torque or pressure to get that going there. Um, oh, look at that, okay. Nope, go to the next one, there we go. Just gives you another view of that you know this is i didn't want to sit there and show you that video for five minutes but it's it's really taking that long and you can see we're going in and out with these uh and they're supposed to be screwed in almost to the top you know on the on the low side of the hill they're supposed to be just 
um, 18 inches sticking up and on the high side, you know, virtually flush with the ground. I think actually six inches. And I'm not sure that I'm a hundred percent on board with that measurement either. Uh, it seems like there might be a little bit more drop than that, but that's, that's what the GPS, um, not the GPS, but the, the little equipment says that it's only that much um, difference. Of course, my phone's ringing this whole time. That's the second one. This is just to give you a shot. This is the one that we got the deepest in here. Um, and, you know, it's about my face level, uh, which is, you know, what is going on there? I'm sorry. There we go. Uh, but just, you know, just to show you how far that went in. Um, you know, we're still out there today. Our solution is we're going to drill into the ground uh, with a two inch bit. And the engineer said this is fine. We're using a narrower bit than the size of the screws. The screws are three inches diameter. So we'll screw down with a two inch bit um, pilot holes basically. And then we'll be able to screw these down further. Uh, they're out there right now trying to do this. Hopefully that works. Um, I'm gonna go out and, and take take some shots of that as well. Uh, I think it's just going to take a lot more days than we expected, though. You know, this whole time they've been saying one or two days at the most. Um, they really thought they'd get them all in in one day. Uh, I think if we had the right equipment here, that that would have been the case. Um, but but so far, no good, right? Like that's that's just not uh, not where we stand today. Um, hoping hoping next time I, I come on here and talk to you that uh, I'll be able to show you a video of 26 screws in the ground at the depth that they're supposed to be. Um, one of the things that we might end up doing, they really only have to get four or five feet in. And so if we can get them all to that depth, we might just cut them all off. Uh, it's an extra step, um, but you know, then, then we can weld at whatever height that, that they're cut off at. We'll, we'll do that. And, um, it's really not ideal, but at this point, you know, uh, waiting for, uh, you know, the professional company to come out, it, they have a four to six week lead time. So that, that's, that doesn't work either. I think what we're going to end up doing is going to, well, I know we're going to come up with a, a completely structurally sound solution. Um, the cost and time to get there, uh, it's, it's, is going to be what's yet to be seen. Um, but as promised, uh, you know, I talked about I'm going to have uh, my new solution for the tiny home, and it is actually my original plan. Oh, look at that. Now I got this video going. I am not on top of those buttons today. So I don't know if you remember, I had bought these plans on the Internet uh, way back. I did a video about buying plans on the Internet and the pros and cons of that. Uh, this is actually the house uh, that Rob built built or I think he's built it twice now, if you, if you watch his channel. Um, I bought these plans from his, that same, um, the, you know, the website where he's, he's got the link to, and I have a architect who can quickly, she says, and we'll see, no, nobody's actually been able to do things quickly. I've, I've learned in this business, but she, she says in a reasonable time. And so far, I don't have any reason to doubt her, um, to take, cause I have a CAD file. So she's going to just take it. Um, get rid of the carport because my site isn't wide enough to allow it. Um, also make a couple other changes. Um, we're going to, I'm going to try to do the screws again here. One, because I have some leftover screws, uh, but also I, I just really want to figure that technology out. I think um, in the future, if I can build on those, it should be faster, it should be cheaper, and it should be better for the environment. And, uh, you know, to be able to do all those things, um, with just, you know, some of these initial learning hurdles, uh, I think will be great. And so I want to, you know, this, these plans to show it on a slab. Um, I'm trying to think that uh, there'll probably be a couple of other tweaks, but uh, that's really all that I want to do with it. Uh, let me know what you think about that. If you'd rather have me um, take some more time, really try to find someone who can take that, you know, two bedroom container plan that I had shown a couple weeks ago if, if you think it'd be worth it to take the time and really get that working um, or if you like this one and you want to see me just you know move forward one of the things i'm trying to do is not have a gap between when my current project ends and the next one starts because there you know there's some people that are working on these projects every day um, some of them that I, I think are, are great workers and i don't want them 
to go and uh, jump on another project and then who knows when they'll be able to get back on on some of my stuff. Um, I am hoping to just from this point forward in life, just continually have a project or two going on. Um, and so that's that's where the rush is coming from for me to do this. I mean, I, I would just like, uh, you know, from the time I get the architectural plans done, I also have to give it to the foundation plan guy on my current project that took a very long time to get done. Um, and so I'm trying to figure out if I get those plans, you know, in a week or two, which is how quickly I think that we'll be able to modify these to be something workable, get them to the foundation plan guy. Hopefully that doesn't take six weeks like it did last time. It's a much smaller footprint. It's a flat lot. I think hopefully we can do that. Uh, and then I can get the screw people scheduled. Um, and if I can get all that done quickly, I should be able to have that to where there's not a very big gap from when this container project is done to when we're starting construction on this tiny home. Um, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Uh, I'd really appreciate the comments on what you think about um, the ground screws. Do you think this is worth it for me to be trying to figure this out? Or you think, uh, you know, sometimes I like innovation for the sake of innovation, even though I have a hard time admitting that. Um, but I really do think that there are benefits uh, of doing it. But but let me know what you think about that. And then also, what do you think about switching for the tiny home project from the small, you know, the container with the bump out to um, a new, you know, and this, I think this is like 360 square feet. It's one bedroom. Um, so it's a small, it's a smaller footprint. It's a smaller total square footage, um, not using the container. It's It's a lot of changes. But it's something that I've seen a lot of videos of these. They've been this home with these plants has been built several times. Um, so I think that takes out, you know, the plants have been changed as they've had to change things, which I think is good. Um, I don't know. We'll we'll see what it what it takes to actually get these revised. But I'm I'm curious what what people think about that uh, me shifting there. Um, and if if you think it's not a good idea. What would you suggest, um, you know, just continuing to wait on the, one of the reasons, you know, that I decided not to keep waiting on the architect I was using is because, yes, I might get plans from him finally in a week or two, uh, and that might be the quickest solution for, a con, you know, a complete set of construction drawings. But once I submit them to the city, if there are going to be changes requested, is that also going to take six weeks? And if we have to once we start building, if there's something that we need to make a change about, you know, what what's that going to look like? And so it's not just a matter of having the plans done, but it's also I want to have a solution where I have um, somebody who can act quickly. And so uh, I think that the person that I've got to uh, change these plans will be able to do that. Uh, but, you know, of, of course, that's yet to be seen. So far, she's been incredibly responsive. Um, So, you know, we'll, we'll just have to see. But anyway, in any case, uh, until next time, I'm going to keep making mistakes so you don't have to. Mm -hmm.